I was always involved in acting. My mum got me involved in doing plays and musical theatre from a young age. I think my first lead role, I played Annie, um, and that was when I was nine. And I remember getting up on stage and saying my first line and just having such a rush of adrenaline. And I remember then and there, I was like, this is what I want to do. Yeah, from a very young age. Yeah. <laughs> Well, in uh, secondary school, I was uh, studying theatre and then um, in my final years, I continued studying theatre as well as film and I took part in lots of the plays that we did um, as well as audition for any of the local theatre that was going on. Um, but yeah, we explored tons of different things in theatre class like Frantic Assembly and Gecko Theatre and I think that was my first introduction to acting not just being one linear thing, that it can combine tons of different art forms. Yeah, I mean, at age 11, um, I remember my grandparents sent me news clippings um, of drama schools, and I think RADA was the one that was being focused on in the, in the Telegraph. And, um, and then that's when I first found out about vocational training, and that this was something that people could seriously do. Um, rather than just taking the traditional university route. Well, I, because I grew up not in the UK, I grew up internationally, I did uh, the course um, IB, which is a manner of subjects, but for my three higher level subjects, I did theatre, film, and English language literature, so they all kind of intertwined. Well, I was always auditioning for theatre school in the UK, uh, because of where I grew up, um, it wasn't very well known what I was auditioning for and why I was having to fly back to the UK and people, you know, going, we've got exams. I'm like, I understand. Um, I'm going a different route. Uh, so, um, yeah, I started auditioning when I was 17, about to turn 18 for drama schools. And I uh, got in um, a foundation course at Rose Bruford my first year which was a six-month course. Yeah so after Rose Bruford I then um, started checking out other drama schools and I then just as my training at Rose Bruford ended I got accepted into the Oxford School of Drama and then in 2020 I started that. Well, as uh, many people might not know, it's on a farm in the middle of nowhere, so I would hike through the woods to school at around 8.30, arrive uh, for yoga and limbering up the body as well as uh, my voice at 8.45, and then depending on the day, we would then go into uh, voice training, um, specifically uh, focused on link later and then we would uh, have a break and then for the next session we'd focus on movement, exploring different uh, ways to get into our body. And then we usually do two main sessions uh, that takes us straight to lunch. And then after lunch, um, if we were having already selected our play, we would then go into rehearsals for a good three hours. And then that would bring us to around uh, 5.30, 5.45, and that's when we'd end our day. It's okay to fail. Uh, I think, especially in first year, I was very worried about making a mistake, but what I've learned from that is actually, uh, from those mistakes, that's where you find those great ideas, and uh, failing has such a negative annotation towards it, and I actually find so much freedom in just messing around and really tapping into your imagination. I think that's one thing I was explaining to you friends earlier, that acting is all just about imagination and tapping into your inner child and um, embellishing in, you know, your youth. Um, and just having fun, you know, stop being so uptight and serious about it and, you know, the craft and Shakespeare, you know, it's supposed to be fun. The audience wants to see you up there enjoying yourself. I'd say, Try and do as much research as possible, see as much theatre, try and get involved in as many different little workshops that you can find. Uh, look online, go on YouTube. Uh, what I do now is um, I watch actors' roundtables and I hear from these different directors and these actors um, what they enjoy and I, I, I like to test that out. I'd say there's tons of podcasts and radios that you can tune into um, to find out more about what's going out um, in the world and also explore different avenues. I mean, when I was younger, I was like, you know, 
pure play, but since going to drama school, I've gone, oh my goodness, you know, voice work, uh, radio, radio, you know, narration, audio books, um, pure physical theatre um, is such a great way of telling a story. It doesn't have to be such a linear, uh, a linear, just a, a play.